previously on Murphy's Diesel.
This is what NASCAR teams should be running. I don't know. I can't. I haven't found a W9 yet, but I do see Penske running Freightliner Cascadias. <laughs> um, we'll probably be towing them wherever they need to go. Freightliner Cascadia. Freightliner Cascadia. Freightliner Cascadia. Penske's our biggest customer. We love Penske because they run Freightliner Cascadias. <laughs> the detach on the W900. Uh, I like to use the W900 when I tow because it's got so much horsepower, it's so light, it just handles like a dream. Got the detach hooked back up. We had to detach it and use it to haul a slide axle on a wreck the other night. We had a wreck in the middle of the night. We had to go do it. My other truck was out of town, so I had to detach this and, and hook it up. So we got it all hooked back up. Um, I got the truck unloaded from the slide axle. Uh, now we're going to go hook on to the Stuart Haas Pete and take it down to Rush, Peterbilt, in Phoenix. They're going to fix it. That Pete's not totaled out. Um, sometimes I just say stuff like that because it's hilarious. So just stand by while we get this Pete hooked up. We're going to go hook her up right now. On the road headed uh, to Phoenix we're actually headed to Flagstaff we're headed to Flagstaff we're gonna swap drivers Colin's gonna take it down to Phoenix I got a bunch of stuff I got to do today but let me tell you I mean the W9 is pulling real nice 
I've got a fire built in her. And we are just hammering Ash Fork Hill, let me tell you. All right, just want to say big shout out to Woody from Stuart Haas over on the Monster Energy 98 team for hooking us up this weekend uh, at the NASCAR race. He was over there. I don't know what he was doing, like playing gas man and helping with the hoses. And he basically looked like he was running the show, but. We had fun, went over there, took the family. He's able to get everybody in. And uh, yeah, middle of the race, one of the Stuart Haas guys that was there, looked like some sort of manager or something like that, told us to go on top of the pit box. So we went up there, watched the race. We were able to see like crew chief and all that, what they were looking at. It's kind of hard to see. It's not, it's not like sitting in the stands, but uh, it was just a cool, uh, unique perspective. And I'm glad we went. I'm glad he went. Because he's he doesn't he doesn't spectate, that's what he says. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really a spectator, you know. But uh I was that day on Saturday as a spectator. It was pretty amazing. Those guys are awesome. You know, I really, really get you going, you know, being right there, right down there on the ground level. And yeah, we really appreciate it, buddy. Like, it's not what I expected, you know, the race. Like, it's a lot different. Like, like anything is gonna be that loud. Like, maybe they'd be like, hey, why don't you jump in here? Like, maybe the driver, like something happened to the driver. <laughs> and they're like, man, we need somebody to drive this car. And, I, and it's me just standing there, like, like, I never drove a car. They're like, you're the only one that's going to be able to do it. And I hop in the car and go a couple laps. And I'm not saying that I'd win the race, but like, if I could get like second or third, you know, for the first time, but could you imagine? That'd be something, huh? I mean, I wasn't like totally expecting that, but. I wasn't not expecting that. Rush Truck Center, it's a dealership. Peterbilt dealership. So um, there's one in Flagstaff, one in Phoenix. Uh, I don't know what their other locations are. Those are the only two that we tow to is Flagstaff and Phoenix. Uh, we have a really good relationship with Rush, Peterbilt, and Flagstaff. Those guys are pretty cool, especially the parts department. The parts department, um, we buy a lot of parts from them. So, uh, they supply all three of our stores with parts. And so, we buy a lot from them. Um, but, yeah, it's just it's going down there to get repaired. It's a repair facility. It's a dealership. They sell, tru they sell trucks there. They repair trucks there. And I'm pretty sure this is a packed lease truck. So, it's gotta go to a rush to get repaired. It doesn't have a lot of damage, it's mainly cosmetic. It's got broken steering linkage on the gearbox and a bunch of co cosmetic stuff. So, it'll probably be in and out. My main man, Colin, is gonna be taking it from Flagstaff to Phoenix. I had a bunch of stuff come up, so. And Colin was, you know, really excited when I told him he could take this to Phoenix, so he's all about it. So you guys stay tuned. I'm sure he'll tell you this is what peak male performance looks like and everything else, how he runs everything around here. He takes the reins. Yeah. All that good stuff. So, you stay classy, Stuart Haas Racing. 
All right, well, we're swapping seats with Colin here. Colin's taking it from here, so um, hopefully we can make it down there and keep it all together. Hopefully we still got a truck on the hook when he gets there. Hopefully. Yep, so I'm headed down to Phoenix. Ricky just handed off the reins to me. Of course, he left the truck completely empty, so I didn't make it very far before I had to go up. Rocking the Kenworth. Yeah, so it only makes sense that I'm the uh, I'm the one to take this down there. After all, I did save the entire NASCAR race and uh, really came in clutch for their whole community and got them down there to Vegas. And you know, I'm just I'm kind of like the golden boy, the star child, the the VIP team player. So let's uh, let's take a ride to Phoenix. So I just rolled up to the collision center at Rush, unhooking this bad peak behind me, and then uh, we'll be headed back to Flagstaff. So this will be the final chronicle of the NASCAR teetering on the edge of destruction recovery. Drove the, uh, the Kenworth W900 down here. Great truck, I love this truck. It's really got some balls under it, if you know what I mean. So yeah. Stay tuned, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for us, drop a like, comment what you'd like to see, and uh, we'll see you next time. And while you're at it, go ahead and uh, drink a monster.